the planting of seeds. Now you probably can't see very well, but in this bag, I'm holding some seeds. And these seeds actually came from a grapefruit that I really enjoyed this morning. But one day, these seeds were planted and I enjoyed the actual harvest that came from these seeds. So what about seeds? For a seed to achieve its greatest expression, it must come completely undone. The shell cracks, its sides come out, and everything changes. To someone who doesn't understand growth, it would look like it was complete destruction. However, in the life of a seed, this is progress. This is an opportunity to grow and to become something. And so today, this morning, I invite you to come along on a journey of discovery all about seeds as we consider the purpose of planting seeds. When I think of planting of seeds, I can't help but first think about those mothers all over the world who have planned and nurtured the seeds of their children. Today is Mother's Day, and let us take a moment, a pause, to honor mothers everywhere. Mother's Day is all of love. Mother's Day love is a love that unites our one human family and reminds us that we belong to each other. When I ponder about my mom, I'm reminded of the seeds that she planted in me, the love of history and heritage, the importance of developing leadership, the purpose of mission and vision, the value of making connections, and the planning for what comes next. Heritage, leadership, mission, connections, and future. These five seeds my palm planted within me. My mom was a sower. And when I think of my mother, I'm reminded of the story in the Bible, the parable of the sower. Jesus tells a story of a sower who scattered seeds on four different types of soil. The first type of ground was hard, and the seed could not sprout or grow at all, and it became snatched up instantly. The second type of ground was stony. The seed was able to plant and begin to grow, however, it could not grow deep. Its roots withered in the sun. And the third type of ground was thorny, and with the amount of thorns, they eventually overtook it. The fourth ground was good soil. It allowed the seed to plant deep, grow strong, and produce fruit. I too, like my mother, am somewhat of a sower as an interim minister. I came here 18 months ago to plant seeds. As I look back over my time here, I can see that you have a con as a congregation have nurtured, fed, and watered those seeds. We have pushed and we have pulled together. The role of an interim minister is to prepare the congregation to be ready to call a settled minister, to help the congregation to become engaged with the work of ministry, and to prepare them for change. Let's review for a moment the great work that you have done. One of the roles of an interim minister in sowing seeds is that of helping the congregation to identify and begin to develop new leadership. Look no further how far you have come as a congregation in developing new leaders when you look at Amanda, Mary, Austin, and Lindy. To be future leaders in this church, the lessons and experiences they have had by serving on the search committee have been life-changing for them, and they stand ready and willing to assume new leadership roles. The seed of mission and vision is one that you grasped and are moving forward with. 
You have become engaged and are excited about what the future will bring. This was made very clear to me last Sunday when over 190 of you showed up online to cast your vote to call or not to call your next settled minister. You should be proud that you showed up and that showing up, you were willing to embrace a new way of doing something. Many of you learned in the process that you can embrace modern technology. The seed of history and heritage we constructed a timeline last fall with important dates and events in the history of this church. And each of you were invited to post a note during the time that you joined. As many of you looked over the timeline, the realization came that this congregation was here before the Civil War and has survived from each of the world wars. In this past Thursday night, as we gathered online to celebrate 177 years of this church, many of you shared fond memories of past times, people, and events. You have connected with the seed of heritage and now have made an important decision in adding to that seed. You have called the first woman minister in 177 years. You are now a part of that history. Lastly, the seed of connection. Just look what you have done with this seed. You have learned to connect online. It has been these online connections that has helped you to endure the ch change of what is normal. You have learned how to connect with each other outside the walls of our church building. You have learned and are learning the value of personal connection. The last seed of future I leave and willingly trust in your hands. You have a bright future ahead. May you look back and cherish the work that you have done and take time to celebrate just how you have nurtured the seeds that together we have sowed these past few months. In a few short weeks, my work here will be done and Reverend Linda and I will be marching on. You have done well. My time here has not been spent in vain. I can't thank you enough for the gift of being able to serve all of you and what it has meant to me and to my partner, Jerry. The seeds that we have planted have not fallen on fertile ground, have fallen on fertile ground. And I pray that you will continue to feed, to nurture, to grow. May you celebrate your success. And may you look forward to the next sower, the Reverend Jennifer, who will have more seeds to sow and more lessons for you to learn. May it be so.